Hey, bad raccoon, back with you again today on War Robots. Master your robots, people. I'll tell you that every time. All right, what we're going to talk about today is pilots and a little hidden gem of pilots, a little secret that I found, as well as how to maximize the efficiency of your pilot to the robot you're flying. Once again, yes, I'm at work. Once again, I'm on break. So, no, I'm not ignoring the public. I am enjoying my little 30 minutes that I have per shift. All right, as you see, I changed my name, but I don't know. I never, the person was decided upon in haste, and I kind of want to change it to the day. Either way, let's talk about pilots. If you look at this stuff, let's go take a look real quick. As you see, I don't have any um, of the high-end pilots. And the, I forgot what they're calling them. The legendary pilots. I don't have any of them. Personally, I do not believe the legendary pilots are worth the money you pay for them. It's not worth the gold. 5000 a piece and you get one extra skill and some of it, you know, it's just not worth it. You can replicate most of that with normal pilots. And as you see, I put most of my pilot effort into my Fenrir pilot. It's four skills. There's a lieutenant. Second bit of my effort has gone into my Rajan pilot. And uh, third amount of effort into my Raven pilot and the least amount of effort into my Lurky pilot. Now, what I see a lot, even in the Champion League, even among the players that know what they're doing or are supposed to know what they're doing, uh, I see really inefficient pilot skill setups, all right? Which isn't surprising since a lot of Champion League pilots bought their way into the Champion League with pay to win robots like the, you know, don't even get me started on it, the but, you know, as you see, I do pretty good, despite not having spent enormous amounts of money in the game. I just mastered my robots and focused on what I have and maximized my efficiency with my pilots. It's a vital, important lesson and the one we're going to talk about today. Let's start with an example that we put most effort into. This guy, Matavie Kumar, whatever his name is. He's a damn good pilot. Um... Uh, but the uh, I maximize the skills to make sure that he enhanced the robot that I have. That's the first thing you got to do. Enhance the robot that you have and its natural built-in skills and abilities. The second thing you need to do is repair and mitigate any weaknesses that your robot has. Unless you're flying some overpowered piece of crap like the Ajun, which has no crap, no weaknesses and. I mean, the only weakness it has when it lands on the ground, and even there, it's a beast because it's got two main guns and a lot of hit points. Two heavy guns and a lot of hit points. So, in the air, it's godlike. On the ground, it's a beast. So, I mean, unless you're flying an Aljun, which I kill plenty of Aljuns with this Fenrir. In fact, I've had three Aljuns attack me, kill two, and a third one ran from me. If you fly right and you're in the right position, you'll be fine. Uh, but on the Fenrir, the Fenrir's main ability is that it gets a 50% damage resistance. This Fenrir gets a 50% damage resistance, as you see. The downside of the Fenrir is uh, that it's slow. It has two main things. It has, you know, moderate damage, and it has a hell of a lot of hit points and a 50% damage resistance for once it's in defense mode. That's a lot. All right, that's a, that's a big skill. So to maximize that, Fenrir repairs a portion of its maximum durability each second. If you have a high hit point robot, especially a high hit point robot with resists, why would you not use this? This is essential, and you'd be amazed how many pilots I see not running this skill. First off, you get healing for free. I don't know about you, but I like free stuff. And I don't have to constantly spend power cells to heal my robot. Yes, it's slower. You know, one point one. No, it won't save you during an attack, but... So, I have to pause there for a second. But... Everybody was like, why would you not have this? Yes, it's not as fast and it won't save you uh, during an attack like the 40 power cell advanced healing module, which is very nice, by the way. But it's free, it's cheap, it's free, it's pretty effective, and it frees up that, uh, that power cell slot, that active module slot. All right? And on the Fenrir, you get half a percent every second. But if you're in defense mode with that 50% damage resist, that's efficient, effectively 1% every second. Okay? So think about it that way. If you go into your what you call it mode, and you're taking 
50% damage. It's essentially 1% because they have to go double the damage. Alright? So, the next one is Roadhog, Roadhog Fenrir. Fenrir has increased speed. Why would you not use that on a slow robot? I don't know. Uh, Fenrir has a mobile mode where you can go a little faster and you get the impenetrable Aegis shield. But, you know, unlike the another overpowered robot, the Ares, the Aegis shield runs out. So to get to cover and that kind of thing, you have to you have to be able to move faster. And the Fenrir is already a very slow robot. It's heavy as hell, but it's slow as hell. So even if it's mobile speed, and even in its mobile setting, it's not you know that fast. And this really gives you a nice boost. And the faster you are, the faster you can get behind cover. And it's, you don't see why you wouldn't use it. And it ties into other skills the pilot has, and even enhances the, that side. Fenrir has increased durability. Once again, high hit point robot. I don't know why you wouldn't run this. 10% of a 200,000 hit point robot is a lot more than 10% of a, you know, 100,000 hit point robot or 120,000 hit point robot. I don't see why you wouldn't use this, especially with a robot that has a 50% damage resist in one of its modes. That's effectively 20% in that situation. Uh, that's just incredible. Incredible. And it maximizes that Fenrir's main ability, 50% damage resist and ability to swap between modes, right? So, Fenrir's shield expert Fenrir, energy shield expert Fenrir, Fenrir's energy shield has increased capacity, that's not quite maxed out yet, I'm working on it, but why would you not run that? I mean, this ties back into the Roadhog, so when you go into mobile mode, not only you're faster, but you have more shield skills. That enhances your robot. Now, a lot of people you'll see picking like damage, uh, damage increasing skills in general. I'm not a huge fan of the damage increase skills unless your robot already gets bonuses to that. Enhance your robot's main ability. That's my strategy, and it works pretty well. All right. If you put enough effort, time, and effort into your guns, like I have, as you see here, I have Punisher uh, 12 Mark IIs, Avenger 12 Mark II. I mean, it took me a month apiece to get those. I've taken it's taken me a month to get my robot to where it is. In a few days, it's going to be a level 12, and it takes time. But even if you're not wealthy, rich in the game, you spend a ton of money, you can still get it done. All right, focus and master the robot that you already have. Once again. And that's pretty much it for this. It's got some other great skills that I'm going to add in, but I mean, this has already improved my robot an enormous method. Two skills en uh, enhance its first ability. It's uh, defense mode. We have all three weapons, and you take 50% damage. Two skills, Roadhog and Energy Shield, enhance its second shapeshifter mode, which is speed. Two we only two weapons. But the age of shit, right? Maximize the robot efficiency. I haven't done much with my Loki. I'm not really a huge fan of the 15% the durability boost, but I might change that. But, you know, I'm not really worried about it. The Loki has is a pretty damn good robot on its own. Even here with my third amount of effort on Veronica Jones, my, you know, my tertiary objective, I have her, even she's designed to maximize what little effort I put into it. Gunsmith Raven damage 2.5%. I know I said something about damage is just not the main thing of your robot. It probably shouldn't be the main focus of your ro of your skills, but in this robot, you really can't enhance its uh, you can't enhance its main ability too much. It's just double jump, right? Now, what you can do, you can enhance it a little bit, but not really. But uh, so this uh, this robot is mostly damage. As you see, 12 Punishers, 2 damage modules. This robot is an ambush robot. I'm not really worried about tank or anything else. This is pure damage output and the ability to overtake an enemy and surprise them from halfway across the map, which is great. And for that, all effects of active modules and Raven last longer. Uh, so a little damage increase to help with that damage aspect. And if you have 4 guns, that damage applies to each weapon. So the more guns you have, you know, obviously, more damage application. And the modules lasting longer. That really helps with the quantum radar and the quantum radar here. Uh, that extra second, second and a half it gives you in the quantum radar is invaluable, especially if you're fighting something like an Arjun or Spectres, that kind of thing. You can pop that before you jump, double jump over them, slam them with your guns, still have plenty of time. It really helps a lot. Now, to the hidden gem, for those of you that watched the end of the video, this is the hidden gem of War Robots, all right? The War Robots Pilots Update. I haven't put as much effort into this because I was focused on my Fenrir, but as soon as that Fenrir is at 12, I'm going to start focusing all my effort on this. The Rajan is an old, weak robot. People attack it left and right, especially in free-for-all mode because they think it's a 
old pathetic robot who will die quickly. Mm-hmm. You can get in good stuff. Because the main ability I have on here, physical shield expert Roger, Roger physical shield has increased durability. That physical shield's already pretty tough. I forgot the amount of hit points it has on it. It's close to 300,000. But uh, with this, 25% increase to that. That's one quarter. And it's enormous. I can already, before this, I could already tank uh, all but a maxed out Ares full assault while it's in, uh, in shield mode plus the retribution attack. Okay? And only the maxed out Ares could break through it. Now, with this, I can tank a full maxed out Ares attack, at least one of them, and have videos to prove it, and kill the Ares afterwards. And if the Ares isn't maxed out and doesn't have, that's with legendary pilots and such. If the Ares isn't maxed out, then I can still, I can tank like, I've tanked up to like three full assaults, retribution attacks in this thing. Especially this 25% boost. It's incredible. This robot becomes, as a stationary gun platform, becomes OP if you use all these skills together, which is what I'm going to aim for. Rajan has increased durability. You're already a high hit point robot. Once again, whenever this, why would you not run that? Avenger has increased shot grouping. Sometimes more is less, all right? Sometimes more is less. I could have gone, originally had a damage modifier, then I looked at that and I was like, well, you know, at range, as a mobile gun platform, since you can't move, at range, at a 450, 480, 490 kilometers or meters, you know, even at 300 meters, or even at 100 meters against a small robot, the shot grouping really counts. You lose a lot of damage on your Avengers because of rounds that just miss. With this 30% increase, that's a one-third percent increase. To, that's a one-third increase to your shot group. That's incredible. All right, you have less. You have you don't get any damage boost, but you get much better application of damage. All right, and application of damage matters. Now let's go over some other stuff. Things I'm going to focus on in the future. All right, here's a little thing about the barrage I've noticed over other robots. Uh, increased weapon damage of five percent. Most robots get a two and a half percent boost. This gets a five percent boost. It's quite nice. All right, and if you're already you already get a 20% boost when you go into your stationary mode on the Rajan. So that's now a 25% boost. Then with the uh, enhanced shot group, and that's a 30% tighter shot group with 25% increase in damage. That's incredible. And it just keeps getting better. Weapon, Rajan weapon damage ability, damage with active ability. Rajan deals increased weapon damage while ability is active of 3%. All right, so when you go into stationary mode, now with these other two skills, you get 3% plus the 5% plus the 20%, you go into stationary mode. That is a 28% increase in damage with a 30% increase in shot grouping. It can't get much better than this. With the 25% shield, physical shield increase, it's incredible. Uh, you got a, you run a booster, and then you run the damn uh, the uh, durability skill. I mean, it just keeps getting better and better. I'm not really worried about like destroying every robot increases your weapon damage for five seconds. That's great, but I don't like conditional skills. All right, I'll explain that. I do not like conditional skills. I like to have skills that are with me all the time, can be relied upon. So I don't even focus on the conditional skills. All right. Rajan has increased durability, but its speed is lowered by seven and a half percent. Rajan's already a slow robot. Why wouldn't you run this? And there's a way to negate it. So why would you not run this? You get even more durability. That's now a 17.5 percent increase in durability plus, say, a boost to your line. That can be up to a, you know, a twenty, a twenty-seven and a half percent boost. It's almost third. It's almost a third of your hit points. All right. Roger repairs the maximum, a maximum durability portion of its maximum durability each second. Why would you not run that? Once again, it goes back to the thing. If you've got like a, a nearly a thirty percent increase in hit points, plus you're running this, plus you freed up that active module slot, slot or something like lockdown ammo, like what I run. I mean, this thing becomes overpowered as hell. Conditional, conditional, not worried about all that. Raj has increased defense points while its ability is active. Oh my god, why would you not run that? All right, once again, you have room for it. If you want, you have this pilot maxed out. I mean, like, come on. Raj has increased speed. This is how you negate the speed issue. So, if you run the speed that gives you more, the skill that gives you more durability but less speed, and then run this, you still come out with a net gain of speed of three and a half percent. Not a whole lot. But hell, it's something, and your Rajan's now faster, as well as being an overpowered stationary gun platform. Not really worried about locking on the targets faster. All active modules, all this. I'm not really worried about the rest of this. The point of it is, you can get a nearly 30% damage increase on your Rajan. Alright? Oh yeah, the web skills. Alright, you can run this. You can get more than a 30% damage increase. Avenger deals increased damage of 2.5%. Alright, that's per Avenger, by the way. So... 
now you have, what was it, 20, 28 something, 28 and a half. So now you're looking at over 30% damage increase, 30% increase in your shot grouping, and a, uh, nearly and a 25% increase to your physical shield, plus all the durability skills, plus the healing skill, plus lockdown in your active module. Yeah, you only get three mod, three passive module slots, but, but so what? All right? And uh, the last one, Avenger Injures Acceleration Mode Faster. And those of you know about the Avengers, if you fire them long enough, they start firing faster and you do more damage. That's a 66% increase. So you start dealing damage faster, like two seconds or two and a half seconds instead of five seconds. So at this point, the Raj in, in stationary mode becomes nearly godlike. If you're running quantum radar, that kind of thing, against something even like an Ajun, you should be able to kill it. All right? And unless it's just super maxed out on the level that you are. And against anything else, it should slaughter it. It should be able to tank Ares attacks. Uh, still move around pretty quickly. Mo maneuver. You watch some of our previous videos. You see, see how I maneuver my Rajan. And with a 3.5% increase, I mean, come on. The Rajan is a secret hidden little gem of the pilot's update. And those of you that have Rajans that are maxed out or nearly maxed out, I would, wouldn't see why you wouldn't run those skills, why you wouldn't work on that pilot. As soon as I'm done with him, that's my next focus. All right, y'all. I'm going to post some gameplay videos in the upcoming days. I hope y'all enjoy it. Remember to just like, share, and subscribe. That would help me out so much. I'm trying to make it in the YouTube world, at least with gaming a little bit. So please like, share, and subscribe to the video. Any interaction, any interaction helps out. I hope you do. Remember, master your robots, people. Master your robots.